Ages ago, when science was very limited, many people still believed in obscure superstitious myths. But as time goes by, technology is more advanced and sophisticated science or science is also growing. Things that used to be difficult and difficult to explain can now have a plausible explanation. But there are some places where there are oddities where scientists are still confused about how it happened. And here are strange places in the world that are still difficult to explain with science. Ram Setu In the great Indian epic Ramayana, several thousand years ago, writer Valmiki spoke of a bridge over the ocean connecting India and Sri Lanka. If we look at satellite photos of the region today, we will see a bit of a hyphen between the two countries. The Rama Bridge, called Rama Setu, is also known as Adam's Bridge, is a long stretch of sand and connects India's Rameswaram Island of the southeast coast of Tamil Nadu to Manar Island of Sri Lanka's northwest coast. The length of the bridge is about 50 kilometers. Most of the bridge bodies are underwater at this time, but centuries ago, this bridge formed a link between India and Sri Lanka. The walking paths existed until the end of the 15th century and were walkable, according to records kept at the Ramaswaram temple. Until finally, the storm came and the bridge sank in the flood. The existence of the bridge has been known in India and Sri Lanka for centuries as evidenced by the legends perpetuated by the ancient epic Ramayana. It is said that the sea that separates the two countries is called Setu Samudram, which means Sea of Bridges. The 9th century Persian geographer Ibn Khordadbe referred to the bridge in his book Roads and Kingdoms, which refers to the Set Bandai or Bridge of the Sea. While the name Adams Bridge is a British invention in the early 19th century, which refers to the Abrahamic myth that Adam used the bridge to cross from Sri Lanka to India. Many Orthodox Hindus regard the bridge's existence as unshakable evidence of the Ramayana and the stories that are described in it. Pseudoscientists, conspiracy theorists, and theologians believe that the bridge was built by Rama and his cavalry. When a NASA photo of the region showing a meandering trail disappearing into the distance was published in 2001, conspiracy theorists immediately scrambled to prove it was a man-made structure. Although geologists have tried time and time again to debunk the myths, there are still mixed opinions and confusion about the nature and origin of these structures. There are dozens of different theories trying to explain its structure. One theory is that the bridge is the result of a natural process of sedimentation that forms a separation. Meanwhile, another theory suggests that the bridge may just be an old coastline which implies that the two mainlands, India and Sri Lanka, were once connected. The discussion about the Rama Bridge heated a bit when the Indian government proposed dredging the bridge to create a route for ships to travel in the shallow strait between India and Sri Lanka. This is because currently ships are trying to move between the west and east coast of India must first circumnavigate Sri Lanka. The long seawater that connects the Palk Strait and Manar Bay will cut the mileage by up to 400 kilometers, saving time and money. However, right-wing organizations oppose the project, saying that the bridge was a religious monument and should not be destroyed. The project is currently on hold because it is still awaiting a decision. Environmentalists say that dredging the canals will destroy corals as well as endangered fish stocks in the area, which could potentially upset the ecological balance. River Arve A very unique and strange river that flows through Switzerland where two waters look like they don't mix. This is because the river is a combination of two rivers in Switzerland, where one of the rivers has blue water and the other one has brown water. The two rivers do not blend well from surface to bottom. This oddity has both confused scientists and amazed ordinary people. The river, which also passes through France, has a length of about 100 kilometers. The river flows from glaciers in the Chamonix Valley, which ends in the Rhone, west of Geneva. 
I don't know what makes these two rivers unable to merge, like water and oil. The Shanay Timfisca River, Peru Bathing in hot springs can provide many health benefits. And in Peru, there is a hot spring which is a river. Unfortunately, the water in the Shanay Timpisca River in Peru cannot be used for bathing. The reason is that the temperature is so hot that it boils. Many animals that accidentally fall into this river will surely die. Generally, water will get hot when it is near a volcano. But in fact, this is not the case. The closest volcano to the Shanay Timpishka River is 700 kilometers away, and that's not enough to heat the water in the Shanay Timpishka River, and this is what baffled scientists. Petrifying Well, Nairsboro. Do you remember the folklore from Sumatra, namely Malin Kundang? Malin Kundang tells the story of a child who was cursed by his mother to stone due to disobedience. And maybe you guys are thinking, how could there be people who can turn to stone just because of a curse? Maybe that is true, but in England, in Nairsboro to be precise, there is a location where anything placed in that water will turn to stone. This place is called the Petrifying Well. The Petrifying Well is a well in the Nairsboro area. The well is located close to Mother Shipton's cave. Water seeping from the cave walls will turn any object into stone. According to researchers, the water that flows from the cave contains high levels of minerals so that anything it touches can turn into stone. However, the process of turning into stone cannot be that fast. What happens there is, whatever items are placed in just one night can instantly turn into stone. Gruner Sea, Austria Nothing is more relaxing than chilling out in a garden. The cool air without pollution and motorized vehicles make our minds calm and our souls relaxed. So it's no wonder why many people prefer to meditate in the garden. But what happens if the garden sinks and then appears again? A park in Austria that is very beautiful has hiking trails, places to relax, and views of the lake, which is always sinking every spring. This park is called Gunner Sea. This park is surrounded by Mount Hoschwab and a grain forest. In winter, the forest will be covered with snow ice, and when spring comes, the snow melts until the lake volume increases drastically and causes the park to always sink. To still be able to visit the underwater park, we will need swimming equipment. The uphill downhill road of Aricia, Italy. When we drive down a sloping road, the logic is that the vehicle will slide down even without stepping on the gas. That logic is unfortunately doesn't apply on a road in Aricia, Italy. If we don't move the vehicle without pressing the brakes, strangely, our vehicle will move back and forth. A strange incident beyond human reasoning. A vehicle that should have slid down the road instead retreated to ride it. This strange incident caused curiosity from paranormal experts. They think that this incident had something to do with the paranormal activity and it's creepy. Well, is it? Since then, many people are coming to the street and proving this phenomenon. Magnetic Hill, New Brunswick Do you want to see the bizarreness of a car moving on its own without a driver? If so, then come to New Brunswick, Canada. There, you can witness a strange phenomenon in the form of a car moving on its own. Not moving down the descending path, but moving back up the hill. Isn't that strange? You probably think that this is impossible for a vehicle. To be able to move back up an uphill road, in this case, a hill in New Brunswick. But that's what happened. Even by researchers, the magnetic force from the Earth alone is not that strong to be able to move a car backward up a hill. This oddity has been happening since 1930s. Longyear Bayern, Norway
As the capital city of Oslo, Norway is a Scandinavian country dotted with mountains, glaciers, and inlets. A very beautiful country if you have the opportunity to vacation there. In this country, there is also a very strange place where science finds a difficult time to explain the oddities that occur in this place. Svalbard, an archipelago located north of Greenland in the Arctic Sea, a strange place where the sun never sets. This phenomenon occurred from April 20th to August 23rd. Because of this peculiarity, tourists or tourists who are visiting Svalbard for the first time will be confused whether it is night, evening, or morning. And this also affects the human biological clock for sleep. Eternal Flame Falls, New York Behind the waterfall in Chestnut Ridge Park is a yellow shadow that might be mistaken for an eye illusion. But in fact, the yellow shadow was a flame. And this certainly makes us confused considering that usually the fire will go out when exposed to water. But this did not happen with the flames behind the waterfall. This oddity is thought to be due to a crack in the waterfall that makes methane gas from inside the earth gush out. Once upon a time, there was a nosy person who had the idea of starting it with fire. The action was successful and the fire continued to burn in the cave. The methane gas continues to escape until the fire is almost impossible to extinguish. For this oddity, the place is called the Eternal Flame Falls. Relampago del Catatumbo, Venezuela of the peculiarities that are happening in various parts of the world, nothing compares to what is happening in Venezuela. There is one location in Venezuela where lightning always strikes. Not a single lightning, but tens to hundreds of lightning can occur in that very same location. People find it difficult to explain this phenomenon, and why is it that only in that location the frequency of lightning strikes can be so large? The location of the lightning strike is in the southwest of Lake Maracaibo. The frequency of occurrence of lightning strikes in that area is 250 strikes per square kilometer per year. May and October 2nd are moments where there are lots of lightning strikes. By the National Weather Service Venezuela, there are recorded more than 12 lightning strikes every minute. 